Good afternoon, everybody. Tom Utel, Epic Ag Solutions. I wanted to bring you a little bit of an update and let you know a little bit more about how this probe actually works. So I've got the probe here with me today, and I've also got the T-handle that makes your traditional soil core hole in the ground. So what we'll go ahead and do, and for the purposes of today's video, the ground is really hard here. We haven't had rain for a while, and as you see, we're in a, a wheat field with double crop beans, but we're gonna go in like we normally would, create the hole at whatever depth you want. That is the one thing I've had a lot of questions about is the different depths that we can go. So 6, 12, 18, we would just need to do three tests within that core. So we'll do three separate tests at three different depths. It won't read all three at the same time. So we'll go in, get her down into the first level. We're gonna go ahead and hit the test button and it's gonna go ahead and do the testing right now. And in just a little bit, it's gonna upload. And so while it's doing that, I'll give you a little bit of an idea of how it works on the backside to get to where we are today. So as any uh, boundary software you can use, you all know how the points work. We can drop points anywhere you'd like in the field, two and a half acre grids, 4.4, zone sampling, whatever you want. Uh, drive to your location like you normally would in the software program of your choice. And normally what we'll do when we do soil testing, we'll do composites. So we'll get off the Ranger or whatever vehicle we're driving out in the field. We'll go out and pull four or six or eight composites, depending on what the customer wants. And uh, it's actually done uploading right now. And so if I had my iPhone out, which I'll go ahead and light up, I'll download or I'll open the app up. Right now it's refreshing. And uh, yeah, I can see my test results right now. And so very interesting, only took 10 to 15 seconds to get done. Obviously this piece of equipment does need uh, cellular reception to be able to do that, which is all built in the system. So getting back to the uh, software version, go ahead, pull your composites. You can put all of those then when we get back into the office, all of those composites can be brought into one sample and be averaged. So it can be very similar to a traditional soil testing method. Um, once we get that done, we can go ahead and export that information into the software of your choice, whatever you wanna write prescriptions out of. So SMS, John Deere, uh, Agvance, there's a lot of different softwares. Pick the one that works for you, one that you've used in the past. Go ahead and download your soil test results to that. Write your variable rate recs immediately. So we've got calls of farmers who wanna do this on their own. We've got calls from people who are doing this as providers. If you've got people out in the field doing soil testing, uh, you can actually have guys back in the office and they can be writing recs as soon as your guys leave the field. So very handy, very efficient. Um, as I mentioned before, you can go ahead and stick that deeper into the ground, do another core test at a different level and it's reading it again right now. And so uh, again, soil test results literally in seconds while you're standing in the field. A uh, lot of opportunity, a lot of flexibility gives you guys a lot of leverage, brings you a lot of information to your field. You can choose the time that you want to do it. It can get done in a very timely manner and do it as often as you'd like as well. So again, Tom Utel, Epic Ag Solutions. We're going to go ahead and put this on YouTube. Feel free to give me a call. We'll put my cell phone number on here as well. Website's being worked on, so my apologies for not having that up and running, but we're going to try to get you all the information we possibly can. But as I said, feel free to give me a call. We'll get you answers. Thank you very much. Appreciate you watching. All right, guys, wanted to show you a little bit of what comes with this thing. So we've got your traditional soil probe that we're gonna actually remove the soil, but then we'll stick this probe down into. You can see it's very basic. We've got different levels, six, eight, 10, 12, up to 16. Uh, we've got the charging cord, and we've also got the piece of equipment that we would use to remove the dirt from here if it ever got tight. Uh, didn't have to do it. it. Comes in a really nice hard case. Throw it on the back of the truck, throw it on the back of the Ranger. Uh, rough and tough, ready to roll.